Hey everyone and welcome back. Today we're doing a high-end versus drugstore makeup tutorial. So on one side of my face I've only used high-end makeup and on the other side I've only used drugstore price makeup. So I'll give you a couple of seconds to decide which side of my face you think is the high-end and which side you think is the drugstore end. So let me know down in the comments below which side you thought was which. I haven't filmed this as a dupes video because the drugstore products that I have used aren't necessarily dupes for the higher end. I just recreated the same look using both high end and drugstore price makeup. And I did add up as well the makeup for each side and I think the high end side came to over £400 and the drugstore side came to around just over 100 I think. So there is a massive price difference between the two but to be honest for me I didn't really see that much difference between both sides so let me know if you like this kind of video down in the comments below and please give it a big thumbs up as well and subscribe and if you want to see my high-end versus drugstore makeup tutorial then keep watching. So this side of my face is going to be all high-end products and then this side of my face is going to be all drugstore. I've had to put a box of each each side of what I'm going to use so I don't get mixed up and get confused. I have already done my brows as well but I have still kept to the rules. For this brow I've used the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz and then I've set that with the Tinted Brow Gel from Anastasia Beverly Hills as well. And for this brow I've used the NYX Micro Brow Pencil and then I've set that in place, place, place with the Maybelline Brow Gel. To be honest there's not that much difference of how they fill in my brows. The colour of this one may just be a little bit warmer but that is it. Because I haven't really been using primers lately I'm just going to use some setting sprays to sort of freshen up my skin a little bit. For this side I'm going to use the MAC Fix Plus and then for this side I'm going to use the L'Oreal Infallible Fixing Mist. And then for foundation I'm going to use two of my favourites. For this side I'm going to use the Estee Lauder Double Wear and then for this side I'm going to use the L'Oreal True Match and I'm hoping that the shades of these match pretty well together because I don't want to look too weird having two different colours of foundation. So this is the L'Oreal True Match, I'm just going to dot them both on first and then blend them in. And I'm just blending this one in first actually, I thought it might be easier. I've got two different sponges as well so I don't use the same one. I think L'Oreal True Match will just be my favourite ever drugstore foundation. Now it's time for the... Estee Lauder one and this one's definitely a little bit lighter but we will work with it. So on this side I'm just going to quickly mix in a few of these drops with the foundation. This is the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops and it's just to make the foundation a little bit darker because I do want to try and get it matched as best as I can. Even though the shades aren't completely identical, I do wear both of these a lot and to be honest there's not much difference in the finish for me. They're both medium to full coverage and the finish is sort of like a natural matte which is really comfortable and long wearing as well. For concealer, the drugstore side I'm going to use the Maybelline Age Rewind and then on this side I'm going to use the Naked Skin from Urban Decay in the shade Light Neutral. Also going to take this over the eye as well to act as an eyeshadow primer. And then just blending that all in. So the Maybelline one I don't feel like it is as pigmented as the Urban Decay one, so I'm just going to apply a little bit of extra of this one. Okay, moving on to setting powders for this side, I'm going to use the Rimmel Clear Complexion and then on this side I'm going to use the MAC Studio Fix, only because I haven't got any other setting powders which are high end except for this one I use quite a lot, so they're the two I'm going to use to set.
I'm going to do a little bit of powder contouring and for the drugstore side I'm going to use this bronzer from Bourjois and then on my high end side I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit and I'm going to use this shade here because that is the one that's like most similar and when I do contouring I like to just put a little bit in this hollow of my cheek I don't like to bring it down too far. And then moving on to bronzer, I'm going to use the Honolulu from W7 on this side and then my MAC Give Me Sun on this side. And I am wiping off all my brushes in between as well so I don't get the product mixed up. I've got a lot of tissues and my brush cleaner just down here so in between colours and products if I need to use the same brush then I'm just going to clean it off. And then moving on to my W7 one, I think this one's maybe a little bit redder than Give Me Sun. But it is really really pigmented and really blendable as well. Now, moving on to blush I'm only going to apply a little bit because I don't really usually wear blush that often. For this side I'm going to use this Illa Masca blush in the shade Lover. For drugstore side I'm using this one from Sleek. This is from the Lace blush palette and it's just this sort of pale coral colour. I am literally just using the tiniest amount. And then now I've got the rest of my face on to be honest, I can't really tell that much difference. I'm not sure how it's coming off in camera but I know that obviously the shades that I've used aren't exactly completely the same but the outcome is pretty much the same. This side may just be a little bit more glowy. Moving on to the eyes now, I've got two different palettes. For my more affordable end, I'm going to use the Carly Bible palette. This is the new one from BH Cosmetics. And on this side, I'm going to use the Tartlet and Bloom palette. And I chose these two because they do both have very similar shades in them, especially the more mauve tone. So they are the shades that I'm going to be using today. I'm just going to go over both the eyes with a light shade just to make sure that all the concealer is set in place. So for this eye, I'm going to use this sort of bone shade there. I'm going to wipe off my brushes. In the Tartlet palette I'm going to use Charmer which is the very top shade. I actually think the shade that I use for this eye is a lot more pigmented than this one. Now for a transition colour I'm going to use this one right here. Kind of like a peachy brown. I do find that the lighter colours in this palette you do sort of have to build up a little bit but you can make them really pigmented if you just take your time with them. On this side I'm going to use this shade right here which is called Flower Child and this is a really nice transition shade as well. It's a little bit more cool toned than the one that I've used on this side but I don't think it will really make that much difference. The main aim really is to just have something here to help blend the other shades out that we're going to apply. And then on this side now, I'm going to go in with this Marby shade here. This is matte as well. So I'm just taking this into the crease and blending this over where we applied that transition shade as well. Also going to go over this part of the lid as well. And then on this side, I'm going to use the shade that's very similar, which is this one called Sweetheart. I actually think that the colour payoff is a little bit better with that shadow than this one. And then to darken this eye a little bit, I'm going to use this plummy shade here. And this one isn't completely matte either, so I think that's what this palette's maybe missing a little bit, is matte dark shades. On this side, I'm going to use this dark shade here, which is called Leader. And I'm only picking up a small amount of this because I know this one is very pigmented. The inner part of this lid, I'm going to use this shimmery shade here. Then again, I'm going to wipe my brush off. And on this side, I'm going to use this one here, which is called Funny Girl. Moving on to eyeliner now, for this side I'm going to use my good old Maybelline Eye Studio Black Gel Liner and then for this side I'm going to use this Bobbi Brown Longwear Gel Eyeliner in black. I'm going to line my top and lower waterlines and for this side I'm going to use this Rimmel Exaggerate Black Gel Liner 
And then on this side, I'm gonna use this Rodeal black liner. On this side, I'm gonna go back in with the shade right here to blend that out. And then on this side, I'm gonna use this darkest shade here and I have just cleaned my brush off. If I'm honest, I didn't really like that pencil on this side. It was just a little bit too creamy for me. And then moving on to mascara on this side, I'm gonna use the Revlon Dramatic Definition. And on this side, I'm gonna use the Benefit There Real. So I've just quickly popped on the same lashes on both eyes because I haven't really got any which are very similar but both different price ranges because I don't really buy lashes too expensive. Moving on to highlight now for this side, I'm gonna use my Becca Champagne Pop. I absolutely love... This side, I'm just gonna use the Carly Fireball Palette and I'm gonna use this shade here. Then last but not least for lips, I'm going to use the Kylie Lip Kick in the shade Coco K on this side. On this side, I'm going to use this matte lipstick from Rimmel in the shade Salute. Not much difference in the colour of these at all. So that completes this high-end versus drugstore makeup tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed it. To be honest, apart from a couple of colour variations, I can't really tell much difference. So I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this down in the comments below because it was really fun to do. And if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up too. And don't forget to subscribe and I will see you soon. Bye!